Rajasthan is known for its rich cultural history and tourism, but a lot of people don't realize, surprisingly, that India's biggest fintech startup, Razorpay, was actually started in this state, in the city of Jaipur. And in fact, according to an INC42 report, Rajasthan startups have raised $1.1 billion between 2014 and the first half of 2022, placing them as the second best emerging startup hub in the country. But it isn't just access to funds that have enabled Rajasthan to come such a long way. It's also the support that entrepreneurs in Rajasthan are getting through the more than 10 startup incubators that are spread out across the state, including I Start Rajasthan, a flagship initiative of the Rajasthan government. And then, of course, you also have IIT Jodhpur, Bits Palani, and IIM Udaipur, which come with their own incubation centers and give the state access to top talent from across the country. And so with all of that said, let's take a look at the top 10 Rajasthan startups, and we're going to start off with the pink city of Jaipur. So among many other things, Jaipur is famous for being the first planned city in India way back when it was established in 1727, and it's also an emerging hub for startups startups in Rajasthan, ranking number seven as one of the best startup ecosystems in the country by Startup Link. And the first startup that I want to talk about from Jaipur is Hexpressions. So Hexpressions is making affordable and eco-friendly ready to assemble homes out of paper. How is this possible? Well, the startup is using something called honeycomb paper, which has 90% of the strength of a normal concrete block of a similar size, but also weighs one tenth of that same concrete block. And to increase this strength even further, they're using these honeycomb paper structures in between two gypsum boards to increase its strength by 5x. These structures are also made water resistant using an eco-friendly chemical, and they also add fly ash to make it fire resistant too. This unique construction material doesn't just make construction of homes 50% cheaper, but it also reduces the time taken to build them significantly. The husband-wife duo co-founders were also recently featured on the latest season of Shark Tank India, where they pitched their eco-friendly furniture brand, Flexible, which uses the same honeycomb paper to make furniture. The next company on this list is helping to solve something that 60% of the world's population is struggling with, back pain. And this company is called Nundra Innovations. Nundra's flagship product, Jaipur Belt, is designed to reduce the load from the lower back to the thigh, resulting in lower pressure on the body. And the idea for a Jaipur belt came to its founder, Ganesh Ram Jungar, while he was working on the fields harvesting crops for long hours in his village called Nundra in Rajasthan. While he found his back pain to be unbearable while working on his fields, most farmers and construction workers go through this pain on a daily basis without any solution. And so in 2016, he decided to start Nundra Innovations to launch this flagship product, Jaipur belt. And today, this belt is being used by workers across industries like agriculture, construction, factory, and even by the Indian Army. With 12 international patents across multiple countries, Jaipur Belt can also cater to a wider international audience too. All right, moving on to the next company on this list, we have Polaris Smart Metering, previously known as Gram Power. So this startup is a little bit of a different one on this list because it was actually founded in California by Yashraj Kaitan, along with his University of California batchmate, Jacob Dickinson, in 2010, before moving their headquarters to Jaipur later on. So in India, unfortunately, power distribution companies often face huge losses. And the reason for this is power theft and illegal electricity connections. And looking at this problem more closely, what Polaris Smart Metering realized is that electricity meters used in India are still oftentimes conventional meters, which are easy to tamper with. And this is where Polaris comes into the picture because they built a smart metering solution where power companies can actually monitor the data from their consumers to detect any unusual behavior like power theft and also the location at which this is happening. And this is also beneficial to consumers as well because using this solution, they're able to monitor their power usage and control their power consumption. So far, Polaris Smart Metering has deployed 1 lakh smart meters across the country, but they also have huge tailwinds working in their favor because currently India only has about 55 lakh smart meters and the government of India has set an ambitious target of replacing 25 crore conventional meters with smart meters by 2025. Okay, now the final startup that I want to talk about from Jaipur is pretty incredible because they are a profitable d to c brand, of course, in a tier two city. This company is called Minimalist. So as we all know, most D2C brands in the personal care category are known for burning a lot of investor money, but this is where Minimalist really shines. Founded by two brothers, Mohit and Rahul Yadav in 2020, Minimalist has managed to carve out a niche in India's highly competitive personal care market by focusing on transparency. And so if you take a look at their products, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the list of ingredients that they've used to make those products. And they focus their strategy more around efficacy of their products rather than making sure that their products are all natural. And this strategy really seems to be working for them. In just three years, they've sold to over 1 million customers, reaching 100 crore rupees in revenue with more than 50% of their orders coming from repeat customers. Okay, so now that we've covered Jaipur, let's move over to the second largest city in Rajasthan, Jodhpur, also known as the Blue City. 
And like Jaipur, Jodhpur also has a thriving startup ecosystem, which has been ranked at number 32 in India by Startup Link. And also, the addition of educational institutes like IIT Jodhpur have helped the city to attract talent from across the country. So the first startup that I want to talk about from Jodhpur is Sarathi Healthcare. The company was started in 2020 and is solving an incredibly important problem. It's an elder care platform that provides elderly people with a dedicated caretaker who helps them with everything from their daily grocery shopping to their daily medical needs. Their aim is to solve the problems faced by elderly people, especially when their sons and daughters are out of the city and have to work away from home. This is an especially big problem for NRI families who have to leave their parents behind in India with no one to take care of them. With the elderly population in India estimated to double to 19.4 crore by 2031, and more and more Indians opting to go out of the country for education or work, leaving their parents behind, this could be a real opportunity for Sarathi. So far, Sarathi already has more than 50 trained professionals who are helping over 300 members on their platform. Next up, we have another Jodhpur-based company, this time in the EV sector, Devote Motors. Founded by Varun Dio Banwar in 2019, Devote Motors is building the next generation of electric motorcycles for India. They've set up an R&D center in the United Kingdom, but most of their development happens at their development center in Jodhpur. In fact, the company plans on keeping 70 to 90% of the production of their motorcycle local. After four years of intensive research and prototyping, they launched their motorcycle earlier this year at the 2023 Auto Expo. Now, talking about the specs for this bike, you get a 200 kilometer range with a 120 kilometers per hour top speed, and their battery pack can be charged in just three hours. But here's one thing that I found really interesting about this electric motorcycle. Instead of a traditional lithium ion battery that most EVs use, Devote Motors is using a lithium iron phosphate battery. Why? Well, one of the biggest advantages of LFP batteries is their safety. They're less prone to overheating and the thermal runway that often causes lithium ion batteries to catch fire. Now, in terms of a price point, the company is expecting to sell these motorcycles for somewhere between 1.5 and 2 lakh rupees. All right, now moving on to our next city in Rajasthan, we have Udaipur, which is often called the Venice of the East. Just like Jodhpur, Udaipur is able to attract a large talent pool from across the country, and its own incubation center has helped contribute to the city's growing startup ecosystem, which is ranked 36 according to Startup Link. Now, the first startup that I want to talk about from Udaipur is called Good Dot. Good Dot is a plant-based meat startup that was founded in 2016. Abhishek Sinha, one of the company's co-founders, was an animal lover and a meat lover since childhood. And of course, this created a moral dilemma, and so he decided to solve it. While discussing alternatives to meat with his brother, who was pursuing a PhD in biochemistry and molecular biology, Abhishek came across the plant-based meat industry and decided to dive into it. In fact, Abhishek actually gave up his dream job as a civil service officer in 2016 to start Good Dot. They launched their first products in 2017 and decided to set up a production facility in Udaipur. Now, at this early stage for the company, Abhishek admits that the products don't exactly taste like meat just yet, but they are very close. From selling 3,000 orders a day in 2017, they're now selling more than 50,000 orders every single day, and some of these customers are actually global. This is a perfect example of a startup that's building from India for the world. Their revenue had reached 18.6 crore rupees as of FY20, and I'm sure that the number is much bigger today today, with 8% of it coming from export to countries like Canada, South Africa, Oman, UAE, Nepal, Mauritius, and Singapore. All right, now let's move on to the next company on this list, which is trying to disrupt India's brick industry one brick at a time. It's called Angiris. So their latest product called Rix is actually completely made out of waste material like plastic and can be made in just one day. So this is an interesting statistic. About 70% of the construction work in India is done using bricks, and with over 1 lakh brick kilns across the country, it's actually one of the largest sources of air pollution in India too. But being environmentally friendly isn't the only benefit that Angiris Ricks provide. They're also 30% lighter, 80% more waterproof, and 20% stronger when compared to regular bricks. Also, regular bricks take about 14 days to make, so Ricks is 14x faster. Now, Angiris is still in the early stages of their journey. The company was founded in 2019, but so far they've already received an order for 20,000 Ricks across the country for their pilot project. All right, and now let's move over to the final city in this video known as the Coaching Factory because of all of the exam prep that happens there, Kota. More than 2 lakh students move to the city every single year with the hopes of clearing India's toughest engineering exams like IITG along with NEET. But despite its focus on coaching, the city has managed to enable a young but growing startup ecosystem. And the first Kota startup that I want to talk about is a food tech startup by the name of Iki Foods. Founded by two IIT graduates in 2018, Iki Foods is using 
using hydroponics to grow chemical-free vegetables. The founders first set up a 500-square-foot rooftop farm as a proof of concept where they experimented with different types of hydroponics to come up with their patented growing chambers. These chambers enable them to maintain the right temperatures and humidity to make sure that they're able to grow vegetables with higher nutrient value in regions with extreme weather conditions like, for example, Rajasthan. Today, Iki Foods already has five different commercial farms implementing their hydroponics technology to grow vegetables, and they've already raised $8.5 million from their investors to add more farms to their portfolio. And then finally on this list, we have healthcare startup MedCourts. This company was started in 2017 and wants to solve the problem of accessibility, cost, and quality of healthcare in rural parts of the country. With more than 8 lakh doctors in India, only 32,000 of them serve in rural areas, which means that a lot of people end up spending between 800 and 1,000 rupees just to visit doctors in the city for a two-minute consultation after waiting for hours. To solve this problem, MedCourts launched a technology platform called Ayu, which connects users with doctors online for consultations and also connects users with chemists for the delivery of medicine. Today, MedCourts has a network of 10,000 medical stores and 5,000 doctors, helping 25 lakh patients across 13 Indian states. Now, before I let you guys go, I have three honorable mentions, three companies that didn't make it into the list because they didn't fit into the parameters. Maybe they're not startups anymore, or maybe they're no longer based in Rajasthan in terms of their headquarters, but they definitely deserve your attention. So the first one is used car marketplace Car Deco, and it isn't really a startup anymore since they were founded back in 2008, so they've been around for more than a decade, but they're definitely one of the pioneers when it comes to building a huge company out of Rajasthan. In fact, Car Deco continues to be based out of Jaipur, and they made 1,000 598 crore rupees in the financial year of 2022. Then we've got another company, of course, Razorpay, India's most valuable fintech startup, and this was actually started in Jaipur as well. And it was while they were working in Startup Oasis co-working space in Jaipur where they got their first customer, and they were still in Jaipur when they got that call from Y Combinator. This made them the second Indian startup ever to get into YC. However, as the company grew, they moved from Jaipur to Bengaluru to get access to top tech talent and to build out their tech for their payment gateway platform. And then we have another Indian company Company, which again started in Jaipur DealShare. Their company started as a social commerce platform that helped customers to buy discounted products on WhatsApp. By the end of their first year of operations, DealShare was serving 2,000 orders every single day throughout Jaipur, and it was all happening through WhatsApp. Eventually though, as they expanded to other cities throughout the country, they moved their operations to Bengaluru. And today, DealShare is a unicorn and they make about 1,933 crore rupees a year. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch, we made a video about the top 10 Indian startups that went global. You can check that video out up here. But either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.